Hi there Sunday Rocks, it is really good to be back with you and this is going to be our last Sunday Rocks of 2020. Next week we've got our All Age Carol service and then there's going to be a bit of a break over Christmas until we meet again in January. So it's been quite a year hasn't it? Well today we're going to carry on with our Christmas story. Last week we looked at how the people of Israel had had to wait and wait and wait but today it's all finally going to happen and we're going to be looking at the story that Jesus is born. I don't know how good you are at counting. You might be able to count up quite a long way but sometimes when you've got lots and lots of things to count, it's quite a good idea to sort them out. I've got a whole load of buttons here on the table. I can't tell just by looking at them how many there are. So probably what I would do is to start sorting them out. Maybe put them into groups of tens and then work out how many of those I've got. Now you might not think that's got very much to do with the Christmas story, but actually it has. Do you remember last week we had that promise, that message that Jesus had given to the prophet Micah about how Bethlehem was going to be the special place that Jesus was going to come from? Well, Jesus' mum, Mary, didn't live in Bethlehem, but God had a special plan. So even though a long, long way away from Israel, there was an emperor and he decided he wanted to know how many people were living in the country that his country ruled at the time, which was Israel. And he thought the best way to do it would be to sort the people out, to get them into groups. And so his idea was to get people to go back to their hometown and then once they were there, he'd be able to group them up and get them counted by his officials. God's really clever, isn't he? Because Joseph, Mary's, the person that Mary was going to marry, came from Bethlehem. So they had to go on a journey, not by car, not by train, not by plane. They either had to walk or maybe take a donkey for all their luggage and to carry Mary, because by then she was nearly ready to have her baby, who was going to be Jesus. So they set off to Bethlehem. Now, as you can imagine, Bethlehem was very busy. There they are on the way. Because lots of other people, like Joseph, their families came from Bethlehem too. And so by the time they got there, they had to keep knocking on doors and seeing if they could find somewhere to stay. And most of the time, the people shook their heads and said, no, sorry, we're full up. There's no room. Eventually, we know that they found somewhere. It wasn't ideal. It might have been the guest quarters of somebody in Joseph's distant family. It might have been in an inn. We're not really sure. But it wasn't the best place for somebody to have a baby. But we know that that night, in the light of the lamp, the baby Jesus was born. The only place they had to put him was the cattle trough where the animals fed. Mary wrapped him up in some cloths like they did with babies and put him in the manger. And we know that it was such a special birth. Kings from other countries heard about it because of amazing things that happened in the sky. Shepherds who were out on a hillside got the most amazing surprise when angels visited them and told them the good news. And we know that the birth of a very, very tiny baby turned out to be the most special thing that this world has ever known. The baby who was born in Bethlehem grew up to be the amazing teacher and the saviour that we've been hearing stories about this term in Sunday Rocks. Sometimes we forget that the baby stayed as a, didn't stay as a baby, he grew up. So this Christmas time, celebrate, have lots of fun celebrating the birth of that special baby. A baby boy being born is always good news. But remember as well that he did more than just come as a baby. He grew up and he went on to become somebody who would make such a difference 
that even 2,000 years later, we're still celebrating his birthday. Well, I hope you'll join us next week as we have our All Age Carol service when we're going to hear more bits of that story. But for now, let's say thank you to God for Christmas and for Jesus as we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you kept your promise and at just the right time, you gave Jesus to us. Thank you for Mary and Joseph and for all those other characters that we read about in the Christmas story. Thank you that they were all important and special to you. And thank you that that baby grew up to be the saviour of the world. And we thank you in his name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, well, we've got a lot of crafts in your pack today for you to have a go at. You might even still have some bits and pieces left in your craft bags as well. So you can have a go with those as well. You might find it really interesting. There's a colouring in map in your pack. And it just shows you the distance and the journey that Mary and Joseph had to go on to get to where God needed them to be. There are also some other colouring sheets as well. I'm not sure if the donkey would have looked quite that happy. And then there's a colouring in and sticking activity. And for that you'll need to colour in and cut out the picture which is in your pack. When I did it I also then stuck it onto some card to make it a little bit stiffer. And then I used some lollipop sticks to make a sort of frame which also looks a bit like the stable. And then I put a hanging thread on it so that you can have it as something to hang up. Maybe either put it on your Christmas tree or use it to decorate your bedroom. Well, I hope that you'll have lots of fun doing those. I hope we'll see you at the All Age Carol service next week, even if we can't actually see you. We'll know that you're there. And next week as well, um, they'll be telling you all about some really exciting things that will be happening on Christmas Eve up at the church. So make sure that you watch and find out what those surprises are going to be. Until then, and until the new year, have loads of fun. Bye bye.